Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. I have with me today Duffy Betterton of Dance Dress Couture. And she has a lovely consignment shop here in the Nashville, Tennessee area. If you want to find out more about her shop, you can check out another blog where we actually did a tour of it and talked about some of the really fabulous things she has on hand here. But today we're going to talk about this dress, the really interesting color combinations that are in the lace, how to fix the fact that the skirt is too tight over the tummy. So we're going to talk about how to make your tummy look flatter, not rounder. And lastly, how are we going to cover her tush and the back of her legs? Because this is a very short skirt. So those are our three topics today. Let's talk about tummy first. How do you like being on video talking about your... Oh, great. <laughs> yes. Talking about all the things that I worry the most about, right? Yes. My tummy is my number one concern. Right. Well, it, being in the costume world and she knows how to do really great design consulting, putting people in. This is certainly one of the things if you were to buy a dress from Duffy Shop, she would help you figure out a way to fix or suggest you take another dress because no woman, generally speaking, wants to have their tummy look more round. In this particular dress, the reason that it's happening is because this, um, the entire skirt, while it is very stretchy, it is a little too snug and it wants to ride up because it wants to go to a smaller area. So the, the nice little gathers that are of really lovely detailing are unfortunately hitting one, they're hitting at the bottom of the tummy instead of being right across the center of the tummy, which is ideal. And they are making the side of the skirt want to ride up, which also makes the back shorter. So if Duffy were to do this, her that's just going to keep going up in the back. <laughs> so the, this is actually a kind of an easy fix on this dress. To fix the tummy, for sure, I would just go in and raise it up. I would basically raise up the gathers. Now in this case, I can go in and hand stitch. I'm covering up one of the lace pieces here, but I can go in and just do some real easy hand tacks. And so what this does, you would think, well, wait, I just put more gathers on top of her tummy, which is true. But with the gathers below the tummy, it's stretched taut over it going, look at me, look at me, look at me. Whereas when I have the gathers right over her tummy, the skirt can hang more straight downwards. And anytime your skirt goes straight down from your tummy is a good thing because then it just makes it look like it's nice and flat, even though you still got the same size tummy. Yeah. Cool, right? And I do have another blog on that. You can check that out for more details. This would be a very easy remedy. Now, if you'll turn to the front, please, ma'am. Unfortunately, there is some bulkiness because I folded up a lot of the lace in here. So what I would probably do if you have the skills and the time, oh, that's much better is to take off this piece of lace and then once you fold up the fabric just kind of put the lace back down over it so that it'll still create a longer vertical line. I, in an ideal world, I'll have you turn sideways again. Yes, yes. In an ideal world I would still want the skirt looser than what it currently is as far as where it hugs but I think given what we have to work with this is a big improvement for maybe only 20 minutes of your time if you remove the lace and then sew it, hand sew it back on. Right. So one problem mostly solved. Now let's talk about the back, which is not such an easy issue. Now this dress is for sale. Duffy runs a consignment shop for ballroom dancers and country dancers. So this dress really is for sale. And when the people um, sent her the dress to sell it, they also gave her this curious, it's a really beautiful shade of green, but we're like, well, what does that have to do with this dress? So Duffy says, well, do you have any of this fabric so I can add to the back of the skirt? Uh-uh. <laughs> so we have to be creative in how to add to the skirt. So she and I both agree, hands down, we definitely need to come in and give something to cover the thighs because because this skirt is a little short on her, it just wants to keep going up and up and up and up and up. And there ends up being even more gathers than there is supposed to be because it won't stay there. And even then for, you know, women of our age, this is a little too short. 
I would love it if we could just easily make another panel like this handkerchief. Unfortunately, there is no more fabric and we cannot steal the handkerchief from the front. I am okay with thievery in costumes, <laughs> but it, it cuts right there at her crotch and so we can't steal this front panel. We could take a little bit of fabric, but not very much. So we pretty much have to leave the front alone. So then, I thought, all right, well, what are we gonna do with this fabric? It's kind of a weird color. Can we actually use it for something? Not really. One, because it's a chiffon or a Georgette and not really suitable to use with this lightweight Lycra. So we're going to use this really curious color combination, which is some darker aqua, which is more blue than this sort of mint, minty green type fabric. And it has this this kind of shade of um, chartreuse in it. So we can use this really curious color combination to our advantage and layer a whole bunch of flames, handkerchiefs, or spirals and add to the mm -hmm. skirt. And because we're going to tie in three colors, maybe even a fourth color, you can buy, or whoever your local seamstresses are who do the work, just you'll get other lightweight lycra fabrics or you could use mesh and get it in the colors that are in the lace here, possibly a darker aqua or a darker shade of this if you need it. Then what you can do is come in. We still might have to steal a little bit of this, but maybe not. Let's say we don't have to steal it at all. Two options here, we can still half of this little handkerchief panel, stitch the other half onto the back, and then proceed with adding 3D things. Um, handkerchiefs, scarves, flags, flames, anything in this sort of little textured area like you see in these images. Then I can take them and combine them all in different colors all the way around so it looks very intentional and not ever like we added it. Maybe we only since it's not too short here, maybe we just want to do a cluster of 10 or 20 on this one leg and then counterbalance, kind of like fade them out and maybe counterbalance them a few over here so that they're not just all in one area. You could also put them all the way, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to scratch you, all the way down the angle here. So you've really got a lot of options there because <laughs> of the funky lace colors. Yeah. So in this case, that's a good thing because it say if it were an all red dress or an all black dress, it would be really weird or could be to come in and randomly add different color skirts. But here, because they already set it up for us, the only potential downside is, and the reason I don't want to say use fringe is because there's already beaded fringe up here. And if you put beaded fringe on skirts it really does not last long because it i mean it, it yeah much. it just moves too much the threads break you'll have you'll waste a lot of time and money with beaded fringe on skirts people do it but it's not your best value and often i don't like fringe with like regular chainette fringe with beaded fringe because they kind of conflict like one looks casual and sassy and the other is really sexy and sophisticated so i don't tend to mix them Plus, we would not be able to get so many colors. Whereas making the flags, flames, or spirals, you can use you know, a mixture of colors and a mixture of fabrics. Both lycra, a stretch crepe, or a mesh would be perfectly fine for all these little accents. So does that make sense? Yes, yeah, yeah that's great. Um, really great idea. And, it's, and it's actually a no-sew project. <laughs> Hey. Because you just take your rotary cutter and cut out the shapes and then you can, worst comes to worst, glue them on, you know, for those of you who don't sew, but Duffy does know how to sew and she has seamstresses who do work for her consignment shop. They can just stitch them on, you know, on. Yeah. an inch or two and then you've got a lot of really great movement. Right, right. The other thing I would do as you wear this dress, because it is a consignment dress, there are a few little stragglers of beads here coming off. As more and more break, I would be tempted if this were my dress to just cut off the rest of them because we're going to have so much action on the skirt now mm -hmm. with this new 3D look that you don't actually need the action on the bodice. Yeah. So I would any day I would much rather show off what goes on down here than what goes on up here. <laughs> so if I had a choice, I would definitely take skirt. 
But yeah, does that make sense yeah. for you? Yeah, that's great. Uh, I, I mean, it's a good lovely dress. It's got some really good options for it. And such a great color. Like, I think it really would. This is, would be a great color on the floor mm -hmm. to really stand out and mm -hmm. pop. And yeah. so I like the idea of pulling more colors out. Yes. And I don't really know that this green that they sent is usable. It's exactly. pretty weird. It needs at least one or two other colors in yes. there. You know, as put you like if you're going to make this for a detachable smooth skirt, you would have to have Some one or other. two other layers. Yeah, like in to that pull, color. Pull it in. This one's really fun. It works. For me, it would be nice if this was more vibrant. It's got a little bit of gray black in it. Mm -hmm. So for accentuating the skirt with those no sew options, I would probably try to choose a layer a darker. A darker version of this, like a more vibrant, intense color. And then you'll have that with the two colors up here. And that way none of them have to match that fabric and nobody yes. will ever know. <laughs> that, right. Yes. That's great. And then it really is custom and more fit for mm -hmm. me to dance in and be comfortable in. Yeah. 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 Then you'll be good to go. Yay. All right. Well, very good. If you have enjoyed today's video, please share it with all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com. Leave me your name and email address. I'll sign you up for my newsletters. Make sure you know when I'm running a design masterclass, a challenge, or when the sewing school is open for enrollment. You'll also want to go ahead and visit Duffy's website at dancedresscouture.com. Perfect. And check out all of her consignment dresses, whether you want to list your dress with her for sale or you wish to buy one. Lastly, with the Sew Like a Pro dressmaker tips, what was your favorite tip and how do you think you can implement that on one of your dresses hanging in the closet so that you can give it a fresh feel and feel more confident in it? All right, that's it Great. for us. Thank We're going to sign off. I'll talk to you again another day. She's like, now remember, you're supposed to do the three topics yes. so people know what to expect in the video. I was like, well, yeah, but I just wing it and talk about it as I go. She goes, no, but you can't do that anymore. Uh. <laughs> I assume I have to go vroom, vroom, like some zoom thing on the camera now. Um, okay. Our heads are not cut out, are they? I don't. You may have moved. Yes. Did the camera drop? <laughs>